Hello friends and welcome back to our daily women's devotional, I Am Loved, edited by Carolyn Rathbun Sutton. Today is December 7th and the title of our devotional is 23, written by Pauline A. Dyer Kerr. The Bible verse is found in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. Ask and it shall be given to you, seek and ye shall find. Pauline writes, I walked into my nursing theory class 15 minutes early. I announced students this Saturday, June 9th, 2018, I'll be having a health day at my church, which will include a mini health fair from noon to 5 o'clock. I would like some help. After going through the college's guidelines, I said, those who would like to attend, write your name on the sign-up sheet. While my students were signing up, I went to my peers' classroom and told her about the event and my request. She replied, tomorrow, when you return, I will have my sign-up sheet. When I returned to my classroom, 13 students had signed up. By the next day, 14 students had signed up on my colleague's sheet. I was dumbstruck. Now I thought, what am I going to do with 27 students? This is not the annual November Community Health Fair. On Sabbath at church, I told the health committee personnel, I have 27 students signed up. I do not know what we're going to do with them. She looked at me and quietly said, let them come. We can break them up into groups of fours and assign them to each station. I was happy. My actual head count turned out to be 23. When it was time to make health fair assignments, I asked the students to volunteer in their areas of interest as outlined on the health fair list. At the mini health fair, the students did an excellent job according to what both participants and committee members communicated to me. Speaking with the students at work the following Monday brought positive responses. One student said, I ate all the vegetarian food at lunch, as did my peers. I need to continue this. Another student gave her testimony at the college in front of a group of 10 other students who had not attended the health fair. She said, this was the best experience I've had in a long time. I have faith, but to be reminded that God is always there for you, especially when you're going through these tough courses, makes me realize that God loves me. Yes, I thought. 23 students had enhanced the 11 o'clock worship service that previous Sabbath. 23 college students were directly exposed to Christ. 10 others had received a testimony by one of the attendees. A chain reaction mission field. God opens opportunities. Seize them. Pauline A. Dwyer Kerr is a native of Jamaica who resides in Florida, United States of America. She holds a doctorate degree and is a professor. She has served in the church as an elder, Sabbath school department head, receptionist, and clerk. She has also been active in communication, family ministries, and the social committee. She has been a member of the church choir and leader of their singing groups. A testimony can speak just as loudly as a Bible study. Whether you have a health fair like Pauline, or maybe you just want to have a little get together for the holidays at your house, just remember that Christ is shown in you and it will resonate to others. I hope you're blessed, you enjoy today's devotional, and I will see you again tomorrow.